what is up guys as you guys can tell by the title I did get a bike as I mentioned in the last video I've been wanting one of these for so long um, and like I'll get into the backstory of like how you know my riding experience and everything but uh let's just go ahead and uh, let me turn the camera around and show you guys the bike so here she is it's a 2014 uh, DRZ 400 SM um, it does have a few mods already as you guys can probably tell like if you guys are or if you guys know DRZs uh, they come with a big tail light that looks like crap um, it comes with a big canister for exhaust and uh, um, so to go over some of the mods that were done by the previous owner um, he did do the shorty fender in the front um, and then he did do the fender elimination kit in the back so it has like just turn signals and a, a turn signal and just a rear brake light. Um, he did do an MRD racing exhaust. He did the 3x3 mod and then he also jetted the bike too. So, and also like uh, he took like the things off the handlebars, pro taper grips and just a small mirror. Overall, the bike is like in like pretty good condition. Uh, it's a 2014, it has like around 3,400 miles when I picked it up. I've already put on like 115 miles. And uh, but overall, I love the blue wheels. I actually were, was looking at the newer version, which has the gold wheels and uh, like the black um, plastics and everything. But uh, I really <laughs> just liked the blue, and I I got this one for a pretty good deal. Um, so, but we're gonna talk about a few things that the previous owner did that is probably not the best for the bike and uh, what we're gonna be fixing and everything. Overall, like I'm p so pumped of picking up the DRZ. Uh, like I've, I've always wanted a supermoto. I've always been into dirt bikes. I've, so the kind of like the backstory of, this is actually my first street bike. Uh, my parents like never let me have one in, like when I was like living with them or anything like that. And then I finally am on my own now and I was able just to pick one up. So I, I've always wanted a street bike and uh, I've really actually, I've always just really wanted a supermoto um, so I've actually ridden a lot of dirt bikes in my lifetime um, was always like into like the 250s or I've ridden a couple 450s but I was more into the 250s as like the YZs or CRFs and everything um, I, I'm actually local in Georgia so like I've been out to Durham town a lot and then like Highland Park and everything so I have a couple of buddies that like to ride a lot but like all through growing up I had like a Kawasaki 110 um, it's like a, definitely a lot smaller and nothing like the DRZ or anything like that but I grew up with that bike and just um, I rode that thing into the ground and everything but when I came to Georgia I got back into riding a little bit and I've been to Durham town like a lot and been riding but I've always wanted a street bike so uh, my first street bike and everything and uh, like I've ridden it like 115 miles so far and I'm still getting used to like being on the road and everything and uh, just just learning in that aspect but overall like the DRZ is pretty much just riding like a dirt bike with street tires because it is pretty much a dirt bike with street tires it's a 400 cc um, so it's kind of like a 450 cc uh, dirt bike and everything like that but super fun and I'm super excited to start doing uh, moto vlogs okay so like I said the previous owner did some things to the bike that I did not like and it's probably not the best for the bike honestly it was just kind of for he was doing it for looks and I'll show you guys what I mean um, but let me show you some parts I picked up uh, just recently so I picked up these are actually not <laughs> these are just mods that I really wanted for the bike um, I got some Zeta hand guards so a lot of you that are known or know like supermotos uh, Zeta hand guards so they actually go up on the front of your handlebars these actually have the integrated turn signals in them and I got white and uh, these are the hand guards specifically so Zeta is like fantastic they make all kinds of different things uh, for supermotos and different like street bikes and all that so I got these hand guards because they just look so sick and I do need some turn signals on the front of the bike so I can like be fully legal and um, so I can actually just go take my driver's test and everything but I, I also wanted them for the looks and all that too and I'm super stoked that I went with uh, the smoked turn turn signal so it looks it looks pretty sick. On to the things that are messed up on the bike so uh, I'll kind of like show you guys the parts that I got uh, first and then we'll go over to the bike and kind of look at what I'm talking about. So I picked up a stock battery box um, for the DRZ because the previous owner just kind of took the battery box off and he put it, so basically the, the previous owner took the battery box off and then he put the battery in the air box after he did the three x three mod. Um, I guess you could say he did a bigger three x three mod than, because it is a bigger cut than just cutting a three x three square. 
But man, this thing is wrapped with like, did you see this? It's literally like four bags. Holy cow. Just for a battery box. So, um, I got this used off Amazon or eBay. Holy cow, do you see this? This is like five bags in one. Holy cow. Is this like a, a game? Maybe the box isn't even in here. <laughs> Dude, no way. It's a whole nother box too. Do you see this? What is this? <laughs> what? This is crazy. Anyway, this is insane though. Oh, there it is, finally. But, there it is. Heck yeah. So, this is a stock battery box and it goes on the, I guess you would call this like the, the left side of the bike. Uh, under the rear fender, this is the stock battery box for the DRZ and uh, currently mine isn't on there and I'll show you guys that. So, another thing is when he did the, the battery delete is he cut the rear fenders and so in this box right here, I'm not gonna un unpack it, but I got two new rear fenders. So let's go ahead and, and I'll show you guys the bike. Okay, so I took the seat off. This is super simple with DRCs, it's just two bolts back here. But you can see, like those of you guys that know, this is the air box right here, and this is where you would do the three by three mine. Well, this is the battery that he stuffed down in here and all like the electronics and stuff. So I don't know if you guys can see that, there's not too much light, but that right there is your filter. So all of this is restricting the air of the bike and I think the main reason that uh, the previous owner told me that he did this was because, and you can see the fenders are cut right here. They're supposed to come out to like right here. And then this is like one mounting point for the battery box where the stock OEM goes, OEM battery. But um, he just put it in here for it to look cool and sleek, but at the same time, like literally you're just restricting the air of the bike and everything. So you can tell the bike kind of runs a little bit different just because it's not getting the air that it needs. But that's all good because I was able to order battery box and then two new rear fenders and we're just gonna pop that on in another video. That's gonna be next upcoming video and uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. We'll be putting on the rear fenders. The, um, I'll be cleaning the air filter. I got actually like some cleaner right there and then I'll be putting the hand guards on. So a couple more mods coming but other than that guys, like this thing is so sick, so fun to ride. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to start doing some moto vlogs. I'll give you guys one last look at, look at those wheels. They look so sick. Um, oh, I know it doesn't have the seat on, but like, you guys can just see, like those wheels are so cool. Like I love the blue, the blue and white combo. Hmm. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the small, short little video of the first video of the DRZ, but there's gonna be so much more content with it. And uh, definitely throw down below if you guys have a DRZ or anything like that, Groms. We're gonna be doing a lot of, uh, probably like starting some moto vlogs. I really need to set up my helmet and everything. Um, but uh, a Grim who actually wrapped my Miata, he has a Grom and a couple other guys. So I'll be riding around with them and we'll just be messing around. So throw down in the comments below what you guys think of the person of the DRZ I really like it I think they're so sick but uh, definitely give a big thumbs up if you guys like bikes DRZs anything that's on the street anything that has wheels give a big thumbs up but uh, as always GPG peace out guys and I will see you in the next one